Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're playing the blind playthrough on the hardest difficulty unfair of this beautiful game. Last time we got engaged with an entity that has uh, indeed pushed us quite far away with an unforeseen event. We didn't want to be their uh, whatever guardian, herald, whatever you want to call it, but it uh, wasn't taking it kindly that we attacked it and and there is no more no more to do's in this sector we're still watching out for the drukari which were said to be in this area somewhere so might as well go and start today's episode with the last chance of serene the clan servicing the cooling system have reported an incident of sorcery. Shadows in the cabins and corridors are coming to life. If they look away, things spread over the room, groaning and everything in their past and attacking the weak and infirm. Strange creatures cannot be caught, almost as if they sense they are being watched and sink into many cracks. Purify them with fire. Controlled scorching of the decks. It's labor intensive. But very familiar process for the Voidsman serving under the ship's Infernus Master. Um, and that had been successful. Very good. Charting new routes. And gaining a few more points. Very good. Well, let's first of all check what the system has to offer. An unidentified object has been located in the systems. The artifact reacts to our transmissions by releasing unknown radiation, most likely of Xeno origin. The cocks are reporting. If you want to take a closer look, we need to get uh, to close the distance between the vessel and the object. There is a mysterious object over there. We're going to take a look at it at a bit later stage. We still got one extraction left over for a bit more profit factor but we're not finding anything none of the planets here seem to have uh, xeno artifacts or adamantine or cogs all of which we could use uh, prometheus four that's not good enough but we can look at an event. At the first look of a snowy, and, a snowy and desolate planet was devoid of surprise, but the yellow and orange flickering of the lumens and notifications from the augur system informed the officers that there was a small colony that survived in spite of the harsh climatic conditions. All attempts to hail have um, failed. We're sending out a scouting party. The explorers report uh, dismal conditions of the settlement and inhabitants. Skin is translucent and pale, no color. Language is rough and their stomachs cannot tolerate anything except a stew made from local roots and mosses and yet there are subjects of the Imperium still loyal to the Emperor find out what happened the local elder is woefully reminiscent of the times long gone still sheltering uh, their mother's wombs when the f uh, snow first settled um, hail roomed the crops frost hardened the soil they were soon followed by birds other small animals that left most people in large uh, cities perished unable to warm themselves and their families all right no one responded to the pleas of a dying world these abdomed subjects of the Imperium still managed to save machines and other valuables, and yet those who survived eventually adapted uh, tribulations that the Golden Emperor bestowed upon him. Well, take any machines from the colonists and take them, or abandon it altogether. There is still Prometheus uh, there, but unfortunate. All right, and we got a mysterious object here, which might be some sort of a space hulk. Bridge, we have an unknown object the data had, uh, not an asteroid, clearly artificial in nature. Copy. 
report relayed to the officers. Expect visuals soon. We have visuals. What the? Wow. Uh, look, this is the Vox Master adding um, uh, pilots, senior officers, and Lord Cap to the channel. All right, we're using tech to double check that. Tech use succeeded. According to available data, the object consists of unknown material foreign to the Imperium. NGCers have uh, aren't lost. What tele uh, technology is work at here exactly? But they did spe specify that the ergonometry suggests the system is holding active charges. The object appears to be ready to do whatever it's designed uh, for. Can we activate it? Uh, request response from the Emectarium. Apologies, Lord Captain. Tech priests refuse to even consider such possibility. Perhaps certain companions of yours could. What are the senior officers talking about? Van Kalox here, what we've seen before, an artifacts of Xenos. Uh, it allows Alderi to get around the sector quickly and hideout for the most unpleasant tribe, the Drukhari. Uh, officer station Irilit gets in. The gate is just like uh, you saw in Lithian. Children of uh, Asuran wander the void through those constructs. Any ships that pass through such a portal will enter the tangled path between Fathomable and uh, None for my kin. We can destroy it or we can just change course. Changing course. Urgent report uh, from the auger on deck, detecting energy spike, cogator network overloaded, and of course, Xenos ships, um, battle stations. Lord Captain orders preparing for maneuver shield to the max. Lord Captain alert Xenos ships inbound, uh, must be a boarding party. Where did they come from? They were hiding nearby. Lord Captain Emergency, confirming contact with the enemy ships, uh, confirm, and we're off for 2A fight, apparently. That's what you get for not destroying, wanting to be nice and not destroy Xeno technology. But no, the Drukhari, of course, want to play rough. But you know the meme? So you want to play rough? I'll show you rough. Unleash torment. Okay, Let's we're flying all the way to here. Then these guys are turned around. Them. You, my dear. Annihilate them. Steer us to our target. Are going to be killed. We're scanning you. And let's reinforce our right flank. And what's read it? What's this? Allows uh, uh, to use both the abilities of a selected post. Uh, that would be warp channeler. There you go. Shooting all over here so that we can uh, move accordingly next time. Oh wow, these guys are packing quite a punch. Four rounds left. Okay, well that is not good. Turn around. Ah, uh, that was a misclick. Didn't want to recharge the shields, but it is what it is now. Uh, we turned around.
There we go. Another enemy sundered by the void. Send their souls to the void. All right, shoot. Very good. Shift. Shoot again. Even better. You guys turn around so that we don't need to deal with you. And we're moving in. Barely out of range. So close. Um, side shields are active, and we're Gucci. Lots of enemies. I don't like it. Steer us to our target. Um Yeah, we're pushing as far away from this ship as humanly possible. And we're good. We're down to one enemy. Charter course. Nice little turnaround. Torpedoes now. Couple of torpedoes. Uh, frontal shields are good, and yeah, we can't reach anyone. Yeah, our frontal shields are holding. Very nice. I have missed this feeling. Battle is over. We lost our uh, mm, support ship. Which sucks. Lord Captain, we have dealt with the void ships of these beasts, but the Xenos boarding party has landed on the ship. They're advancing steadily towards the plasma drive. We're asking for reinforcements. If you could help uh, with that, that would be good. And we are going to do that. Oh boy, we're being boarded. But not on my watch, guys. Not on my watch. Of the rogue trader. Do you ever regret it, Seneschal? No, I do not regret it in the least. Serving in the Imperial Navy is a fine thing to do. But it was only under Lady Theodora that I truly felt the significance of what I was doing. Let's seize the opportunity. Okay, okay we got Kebelite warriors down there. Couple of warriors, couple of specialists. Forward charging Powers in head first. Unseen. Uncover my path. An expected result. We can cut off the power here. Operation. Successful. The world will bow. Monkey, a look at my kin. They cannot wait to die. Okay, we're going to find out. What's taking so long with the engine? The monkeys are already here. Do not rush me or we will perish alongside with them. Well, we're going to... But a fleeting flame before my tempest. You'll suffer exquisitely. Abelard moves in. Our Inquisitor moves in. Uh, 
Uh, Cassia can position herself there very nicely. You know what? We're just pushing forward with everyone. Saigon moves up, Discord. and we're giving Heinrichs here an extra turn, who in return could already engage, or Let's does the clever thing, buffs everyone, and including himself, so we're Gucci. Couple more enemies down there. Cassia moves to here. Forces these guys to come closer, which is perfect. You're going to be the first ones dying. I am a navigator. That is one. That's two. Uh, giving okay. free movement and I think Isn't this a job for the Saigon will get the first buff Me? second buff to here battlefields are always drowned in scarlet I am a navigator, not a servitor. All right, uh, let me think. You Is guys do some hit points, and whilst we're at it, if I may, Little Stair will teach you. And we're moving a little bit closer. Fair enough. Pascal moves up. Uh, for one round, allies gain cover efficiency. I can do that right here. Nice little hit. enemies apparently fair enough everyone step aside for the thrones good we're taunting We're giving Abelard a small buff. We're taking a buff for ourselves. We're giving ourselves a little bit of a strength buff. And... Uh, too bad. Uh, forewarning, embodiment, versatility. What's this called? Cautious approach. Okay, well, unfortunately, we've just disabled it. Doesn't matter, we're still having enough. Dodge. 
I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. As the Emperor commands, great hits, fabulous. I'll do it. As the Emperor. Doubt is for the weak. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands. Couple of good hits. She's doing very well. Argenta is loading up uh, map on versatility stacks. Guides me. Amidst the carnage, I find purpose. Alright. Death shall rain. Fabulous, that was a good hit. And we're using a bit more buffs on Argenta, and we're good cheap. Abelard moves in. At your back and call. Charges. Pawns all of them. I will do my duty. At your beck and call, it will be done. And begins to stand there like a rock. Absolutely love it. No Such a machine. You are mine now. Your last stroke of luck. Good, Cassia. Four starters, we're moving forward. And if we move up to here... Then we pull all of these guys together. There we go. Mars the first kill right there. I'll show you why navigators are feared. God Emperor move through. Magenta moves up. Fire in my heart. I'll do it. One As down. I want more I charges. That gives us to seven. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Faith without deeds is worthless. That is not the Emperor's will. Doubt is for the weak. Fabulous hits. As the Emperor indicated, I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I act. Good. Full reload and we're Gucci. Uh, Cassia should have had more actions. Oh no, Saiken gets an interrupt action. I remember. I need no guidance. Can use that in order to nicely move up here. Back line to there. We're moving up. Step aside. The navigator is coming.
Isn't this a job for the serfs? Alright, hit these guys. With a nice little little steer. I am a navigator, not a servitor. I'll do it. Alright, Argenta kills. As the Emperor commands, I act. Doubt is for the weak. <laughs> and we're dealing very, very, very nice damage. As the Emperor commands, I act. Pascal moves up. Puts a back line somewhere here. The order is contrary to dogmatic protocols. All right, Pascal, my good boy. Let's get this guy ready. Hell yeah. Alright, everybody here gets the buff. We're giving ourselves a buff and we're good. Get me a target. Let's see to it. Can't really charge down there. Can't shout down there. We can make them more vulnerable, and that's pretty much it. For the throne's glory. My soul hunger beckons. All right, let's first of all start with a normal shot. Oh, this guy seems to be very well protected there. Rejoice in battle. Hmm. Well, a bit of a sniping shot. I'll do it. Normal borders don't hit, but a sniper still good enough. And I think, to be fair, we're okay with that. Let's give Argenta more turns. Moves to here. I'll do it. One. As the Emperor commands, I act. Two. Faith without deeds is worthless. Three. Eradicated. Good, that guy is down. Out of curiosity. Let's try Emperor this. Commands, I act. I'll do it. Okay, it would be just as much as a normal sniper shot. Maybe just a tiny bit more. I will not. Hmm. Can't really move to there. Can only move back. Can I give anyone here a bonus? I can. I Abelard. Triumph. Abelard charges over, and that's pretty much it. Purpose guides me. Oh, 
Oh, someone is in a really bad mood in the background. Yeah, I can understand that no one wants to fight against Drukhari. Alright, Abelard goes down, slashes, attacks, and that specialist needs to die. At your back and call, I will do my duty. At your back and call. I have read tomes of military tactics. All right. Hmm. Can we hit this guy or is he completely yeah, he's he's so well shielded that uh, that wouldn't work out. Which means Me. We're needing if to insist, use Lord every Captain. trick in the book just to get Isn't them. This a job for the <laughs> Stop the boarding party. Fantastic. They do have interesting alien weapons, and that's about it. I mean, they didn't really stand a chance against us. But I must uh, admit that they are dealing quite a bit of damage if you can't really protect uh, yourself from it. Uh, this might be a good armor. Splinter rifle, blast pistol. I tread a path unexplored. No, 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 where is he? Where is my son? The lower half of the officer's face is grimy with a strange substance, too pale, uh, too lumpy. The officer pays no attention, his eyes are fixed on the floor. Uh, no one from the local clans. He helped me bring up new recruits. What is he doing here? Why are you here, not on your assigned deck? Tactu is my boy. Swamp's devil dragged him off. Looking for my son. The Emperor's valiant guards came here to sa uh, save my boy. I showed them where the Swamp Devils dragged Tacticus. I let them ride here. They make some sort of nest uh, out of the beasts. I'll keep looking for my boy in the meantime. I'll be damned if this officer has a son. Perhaps he did. He cracked. The poor wretch. I don't understand. Where are the genos coming from? Oh my god. Emperor Preservers. What is this nightmare scene? I was leading the Emperor's guards on the swamp devil's nest across the marsh uh, lands of my homeworld. But instead of this showing me the way to them, hallucination, a heretical image. The guards, they weren't very chatty. One of them called me something strange. Monkey, I think. I heard uh, them talking amongst themselves something about seizing the ship. When did the hallucination start? I don't remember. It's so strange. Uh, visit from a guardsman after the swamp devils attacked. He treated me for my injuries and said that my comrades uh, would come up uh, when they had to do. And then the rest uh, of them came and told me to show them the way to the nest. It sounds like a mental distortion, the work of Xenos. Drukari are capable of ensnaring the prey without shackles. Your subject has been forced to experience a nightmare from the past in order to um, break and uh, wreak havoc, havoc on the presence. All right. How many more like him are roaming the decks waiting for the new masters to give them orders? Argenta's voice trembles with sorrow and rage until the last beast of uh, that race of the enemy of humanity is dead. The innocents will continue to suffer torment. You must be taken to the infirmary. Don't I don't deserve to lift up uh, what I've done. My mind is probably corrupted for good already. Even now I'm looking at you. I can see behind you the marsh where uh, Tacticus vanished. Alright. 
Dogmatic it is. He went over the body despite numerous blood stains, his skin and clothes. The officer had not been seriously wounded. The only noticeable injury is on his face. His nose is disfigured in a red slimy substance streaming from it, staining his mouth and chin. Take the body to the infirmary and try to identify the cause of the madness. What a crazy situation. All right, defuse the charge. Let's seize the opportunity. I wonder why we would, uh, why we would be attacked here. But um, I suppose it's as good as any situation for them. Difficult fight, but our team has nicely come together at this point. I actually like what I'm seeing. Okay, cool. Very good. I like the combination of star battle and then boarding uh, crew. That was really well done. The game did a good job with it. What I'm wondering though is why didn't we destroy that warp gate? well we can't deal with the object now it's still there but apparently we can't go through it nor can we mingle, uh, mingle with it and well, I think one of the quests also said we now need to return to Derekus. The urgent me message from Dragonos Lord Captain our astropods are receiving numerous transmissions but no these are aren't ordinary messages everybody is pleading for help massive Zeno's right Master Zachary is struggling to determine where exactly the invasion began the people are begging for immediate help okay that's not good The rendezvous point set by the Xenos turned out to be a trap. And we need to rectify the situation. Deal with the disrupted shipments in Kyafagama. That's fine, but... Can't deal with that now. I don't want to give up so many people. Just for a little bit of profit factor. Good, we can fly to Lapios Mortius and then... We're going back afterwards. Why is the Voyager bridge loading? We're flying to uh, through normal uh, um, yellow unsafe space. That's not what should happen. I think. Oh, it's something else. Instead of administering themselves, monkeys should direct their gaze to the world around them more often. All right, we're did she mean with that I mean it's it's always true uh, saying but what exactly did she mean with that there we go earlier taking careful steps almost without sound earlier examines uh, the study interior raising her brows in surprise of muttering something to herself in Alderi tongue why are you in my chamber? Why are you asking me this, Elantach? Is the place forbidden? On a craft world, uh, we all held a simple custom. You may sit your foot wherever path requires sacred ground, 
was the only exception. Is this something sacred, Eleanor? I do not think so. How do you manage to slip past the enforcers? I know how I avoid your kin. Okay, fair enough. For humans, stress parting is akin of an insult. Did I ever think I would encounter this after Krura? Stiff, meaningless rules and condemnation for overstepping li uh, lifeless boundaries. It weighed so heavy upon me back then. But is your entire world contained within this tiny med metal cage, Eleanor? Your ship, these chambers, an island, temporary shelter in a world that is far bigger and more expansive than, well, enough of that. Now that you're here, I wish to speak to you about our agreement. I've traveled uh, through the Vale many times inside steel-winged uh, bird. Every time her voice torments me, trying to drive me mad. Her whispers fill my ears uh, when I enter the warp, irrespectively and incessant poisoning and inflaming every single emotion and thought, making them uncontrollable. I've learned to shut off myself as best as I can, uh, just so that I have a chance to search for what I've lost. Okay. Okay. That is fine, but what exactly do you want? Okay. Well, there does not seem to be more to the dialogue than that. Uh, she has shut herself off uh, from, from all of uh, the whispering voices to have a chance of searching for what exactly she is looking for. That's all good. Cool. Congrats. But I thought we were going to do uh, go a little bit deeper into of that area. And by that I don't mean any sexual connotation. I actually mean a, a viable deep conversation. She just mentioned she's unhappy uh, because she's still hearing the voices. Okay. Good, we got an uncharted system. Unfortunately, no further routes, but it's a start. So, might as well Might as well go here. We got one excavator. I need something good. Xenotech. Three Xenotech is good enough. I'll accept that because it gets us to five Xenotech. Charred runes have been detected on the planet's surface. Architecture, building materials, layout. Um, a passage betray the Xeno's origin. There are currently no signs of Xeno activities. Let's run a detailed scan. The burnt husk of an Imperial shuttle has been found in the heart of the ruins. Pilots' remains uh, are badly damaged. It would seem the shuttle is smashed into the building at full speed. Sister Bel uh, Argenta believes uh, the crew has found the remains of the murderer who sacrificed themselves to protect uh, humani fr uh, humanity from the Xeno's threat. All right, hundreds of crew members disembark to honor the nameless hero, which many remain on board and listen to the Voxcast. Even though the pilot's name is unknown, their sacrifice will be remembered in the hearts of the Imperium's true children. Cool. Got a space arc here. Vigilant, the number of the augury crew detects a small Xenos vessel drifting through void. The ship is unpowered and shows no sign of being uh, uh, having a crew. Send out a boarding shuttle. The squad board the shuttle without issue. Corrosion has laid waste on the ship's systems, which led to the death of the entire crew. The interior is full of Alderi corpses. No weapons were found on board. The dead Xenos, judging by their clothing, were not part of a warrior cast, merely a crew uh, of the now defunct ship. 
Zeno's uh, Irlid claims to have recognized the symbol. There were civilians, um, refugees for the craft world, Kruderak. That's unfortunate. More plat steel, which we don't need. Adamantine, that would be nice as well. Because we don't have a lot of adamantine at the moment. And more plus seal. Eight plus seal. That's actually quite a lot. Okay, let's have a bit of a space battle and see what the enemies are about. It says enemy of humanity. This can only mean A, either chaos or xenas. I like, by the way, how they introduced really all of the enemies. But there is a clear theme. A lot of Al Alderi. Holy. We need to restart the void shields. Oh, wow. Okay, well, okay. Let's restart the void shields. Let's start with that. Um... Send their souls to the void. Okay, this is just one ship, really? Wow, strong one. If it can destroy our shields with just one go. Good, we're killing that Alderi ship. Let destruction pull forth. Settle them into the cold void. Steer us to our target. Okay, can we hit these guys. Yep, we can. Couple of misses, unfortunately. But we're jumping behind the torpedoes. That's the important part. And back uh, of our shields is being protected. This guy needs to die. Way too much damage. Let the Imperium guide us. No torpedoes, nothing. Uh, that's going to be rough. Um. All right. Well, listen, we're out of range, unfortunately. Good, here we go. Torpedoes now. They're stupid 
little defense mechanisms. Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. Turn them around. And back shield. Shields in the back can benefit from it. We're taking shields on the left then. Good. We're moving all the way to here and then let's explode it. Mwah. Great torpedo. Fantastic. So that was another kill. Good one. We're shifting all the way to over here. And we're moving as far forward as possible so that we can turn around and then give them a hard time. Okay, hmm, torpedoes. There we go. Whilst we are still moving to here, soon our shields will come back online. And that's good. Can we scan one of these guys? Yep, we can. You can't kill torpedoes with torpedoes, apparently. All right, torpedoes are coming up next round. We're restarting shields. Frontal shield. That's good. And one of you guys turns around so that we only need to fight a one on one. Good, that's a solid kill, if there ever has been one. Send them into the cold void. Unleash your wrath upon my enemies. Torpedoes, now! I'm not sure if we would survive that, because we're flying through torpedoes there. Steer us to our target. Macro All right, we're moving further forward and trying to like spin it so that we're not taking that much damage. Okay, they were looking for the torpedoes. Cool. Wow, what a close fight. <laughs> At some point I thought, oh, it's going to not look very good. I don't know what happens when you're um, losing a space battle. I can only assume uh, it's going to be a problem.
Very good. We're up to 216 hit points. That's exactly what I was looking for. And we have freed the worlds here. Fabulous. There is one more space battle that is left, which is against the Drukari fleet. But first, let's help the rogue trader. What? Okay, enemies of humanity have been spotted on board. We're going to fight them the next time, as will potentially take a little bit longer. Um, let me do that, or I'll do it off screen and we're continuing to fight afterwards. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you enjoyed uh, the game so far, then please be so kind and leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye bye.